Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord wherever you are this beautiful day. I thank God for all of you. I know that God is shining in your lives and is doing wonderful things for you. That is my belief and my conviction. Today in power to become, I'm talking about something very close to all of our hearts, which is financial supply is my portion. Financial supply is my portion. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that money answers very many questions. And so I know that all of us, one way or another, are in need and always want money, you know. And you're always praying that the Lord can give us enough, at times enough to be a blessing to others, at times enough that we become out of debt, at times enough to be able just to live comfortably, you know. And also at times just we want more than enough that we can just be able to secure an entire generation. But also my belief is that also we need more than enough also to do the things of God and to turn with the, with the things of God. But then I'm saying this because I want us to have a new mindset that will and have an acknowledgement today that financial uh, supply is your portion. That it is a something that God delights in giving you. The Lord doesn't like to see you languishing in financial lack. The Lord doesn't enjoy to see you in poverty. The Lord doesn't enjoy seeing you in debt. It is his desire that every one of us as his children may be able to have an overflow of abundance in our lives. So today I want us this day to have a focus. That as a child of God, I have a right and I am a co with Christ. I have a right to receive a financial blessing. But my mind is not that financial blessings come for people who are um, in a different place or they were made for others to believe that you also are a child of God and because all gold and silver belongs to your father who is our Lord Jesus Christ that my brothers and sisters you deserve to have a financial blessing I read from Philippians 4.19 and, uh, and uh, Paul says, But my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He shall supply all of your needs. And that's why it's not bad for a Christian to dream. It's not bad for you to say where you want to stay, the house you want to live in, the car you want to drive, the school you want your kids to go to, how you want to retire or your retirement home. It is not a crime for you as a child of God to say these things. Because the Lord shall supply all of your needs. And it's good to have that mindset. The Lord, I am here and I, need, and, I, and I know that I qualify for a financial blessing. I know I qualify for a good report on my finances. Let's not sit with the mindset that financial blessings happen to people elsewhere. No, my dear friends, it happens to us. As children of the Most High God, the Lord wants you and I to have financial overflow. In fact, Philippians 4, 4.19 is interesting because if you read um, from verse 17, you understand something. Paul says, not because I desire a gift, but I desire that, uh, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Here he's talking to those who are actually who are, who are, who are actually are being blessed and as they are being blessed, they are standing with the work of God. And he's saying that I don't desire a gift. Some versions say I don't desire an offering but i desire that fruit may abound to your account what is he saying he's saying that the lord wants you to be to have an overflow to have an overflow that through his overflow as you even continue to stand with the gospel as you continue to do the things of god that it may be added to your account as credit my dear friends we have unlimited supply we have unlimited supply and we have to look at the supplier who's our lord jesus christ we have to have the mindset that we are financial blessed, that we are financially blessed. Financial portion, my dear friend, financial supply is your portion. That is your divine portion. So today, let's go out there and let's say, Lord, I believe, I believe that finances will find me. I believe my business will prosper. I believe that I'll get an increase at work. I believe that I'll have an overflow. In the overflow, I can be able to bless the work of God. In the overflow, I can be able to bless my family members. I can be able to be a lender, not be a borrower. I can be able to plan for my retirement. I can be able to leave an inheritance for my children because I believe that my financial supply has been responded to by the Lord God Almighty. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for the gift of life and the gift of today. Lord, you're a wonderful father and Lord, you're a good friend. You always provide what we need even abundantly beyond what you think or imagine. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother and my sister, Lord, may they have a financial increase. May they have a financial overflow. May they have an abundance flowing in their lives, Lord. The Lord, they may be a blessing, Lord, to your work. They may be a blessing, Lord, to their families. They may be a blessing, Lord, in their communities, Father. The Lord, all this may be added to their account as credit. That, Father, you may give them even more. I declare, Lord, whatever dreams your children have, Lord, may you, may you release the finances required for these dreams to come to pass. I thank you, Father, and I bless your name. Just name, praying thanksgiving. Amen. Remember, you deserve financial 
supply from the Lord God Almighty. Ask for it. Believe God for it. It is your portion. Have a wonderful day.